Hello there, gentlemen, and welcome to some Crusader Kings 2 with a Game of Thrones mod. I'm going to be playing in the Robert's Rebellion start, and I'm going to be playing as Lord Paramount Mace Tyrell. Now, the minimum for this campaign is I'm going to play through Mace's life. Uh, if he lasts a long time, it'll be a long campaign. If he dies quite early, I might play as an heir of his if there's something interesting going on, such as a war or such. But for a start, we're going to be playing as Mace. We are going to be doing uh, Iron Man mode here, as it is. Let us start Iron Man mode of the Reach. I'm not sure what's going to be going on during the Robert's Rebellion note. Uh, perhaps somebody named Robert will rebel. I'm not entirely sure. It'll take us all by surprise. Oh, wait, what's this? A rebellion by Robert? How about that? So, if you don't know the history, Robert Baratheon, who is the king at the beginning of the show, Game of Thrones, he rebelled against the Mad King. The reason being, the Mad King started executing some guys. There was uh, the main cause of this, which was uh, Joffrey Malister. Everybody was just so angry that the king killed Joffrey Malister, that the Northmen, the Veilmen, the Stormlanders, the River Lords, they all stood up against the king. On a side note, there was also uh, Eddard Stark's brother, who was killed, and his father. Uh, there was also the abduction of Lyanna Stark, who was promised to marry Robert, which is why he's so pissed, but she was abducted by this man here, the King's son and heir. So. John Aaron here, he's involved because he basically raised Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon. That's why he's in this. But also to secure alliances, he has married the Lady of the Riverlands, whose sister has also married Ned. So everything up here is intertwined. We, however, we have no marriages with the Targaryens. We have not much in this at all. Perhaps we should try and make something of this. We have a son, Willis, who is five, a son, Garland, who is four, and a son, Loras, who is zero. A very attractive zero-year-old. We want to try and set out the best life for our boys. We also have sisters, but they are both currently married. Me and myself, I am married to Lord Paramount Ellery Hightower, and I do still have a surviving mother, Lady Olena, the Queen of Fawns. What are we to do? I like how they got a little headdress now in the uh, in the game. Let us start by going and picking an ambition. We're not going to roleplay to the characters, show personality or book personality. We're going to roleplay to a totally different, a historical Mace Tyrell. And we are going to attempt to improve our combat ability. And we are going to focus on hunting for now. We're going to go hunting. We're going to take up a new hobby. We're going to pick a designated regent. Who, uh, who else but my mother? We're going to pick some bodyguards. Uh, let's start by four mid. No, there's none of them. Skilled fighters. We're going to get Quentin Tyrell to be my bodyguard. We'll also get him to be the uh, head of the household guard. Other bodyguards will go for Olimer, Tyrell, Gas, Tyrell, Garrett, Tyrell. There's no other Tyrells. Perhaps I can invite one to court. Search the realm, uh, join court, yes. Tyrell. Search all the realm? No, there's no other Tyrells. Well, that's a shame. Perhaps there is a formidable fighter in our. No, there is not. Join court, yes. Well, we did have that other gentleman. Perhaps we could have him join our bodyguard instead. Vortimer Crane or Norcross? We'll go for Norcross. The court jester will make that Adam. Why not? The keeper of the swans. Ah, well, it could be any one of our good lords. We'll pick one Hightower. We are married to his daughter, I believe. Maybe it's his sister. I didn't actually check. Master of the horse, Randall Tarley. Master of the hunt. How about Lord Rowan? The high almona. We could go for Lord Crane. The cupbearer. Somebody who'll keep me alive. Pax the red wine is very happy with me. We'll give it to him. The Paramount Knight. I'll make it a lord who is very good at military stuff. And I'll be Lord Ashford. The Court Tudor. We'll go for somebody quite 
Intelligence. Let's pick my mother. Now, as for generals, anybody quite low? There is a level 11. We could replace him with John Fossaway. There is a level 12. We could replace him with... Uh, the Captain of the Household Guard. We'll not do that. But Maribold Chester, we could send you in. Excellent. My cancel, every position is taken. Let's have a look at our cancel. The Castellian will get you, good sir, to oversee the realm. My justice, sir, will get you to from statecraft, martial arms. Randall Tarley will get you to train troops in my capital, please, good sir. The Lord Treasurer, please collect tax. I would like some money. My spy master, we want you just to scheme. Are you replaceable? Yes, you are. By my lovely mother. Maester, you do the court servings, and you, good sir, perform charity. Now, we have other decisions to make. We could employ a new courtier or command the household guard. We'll command the household guard to improve my levies. Drill the soldiers. Levy size will go up. Excellent. So we have already dedicated our forces to this. But first, let's have a look at possible matches for my boys. Uh, that is quite a mess. I don't believe there are any Targaryens at all. There are only the ones currently live. Seven. Yes, he's in Bread Fox. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So who's the seventh? Ah, of course, Aemon. So. There is a two year old girl here. Perhaps we could arrange a betrothal between her and our son and heir. They would not take it. Ah. Now that is quite a concern. They will not even support us through marriage. Well then, allow us to raise our forces after the turn of the month. Oh, would you look at that? Men are being raised all over the place. Ah, he's created High Lordship. Good for him. Alright, first October's turned around, and we now have even fewer men to choose from. Now, it seems straight away here, men are trying to ambush our lords in Ashford. What if they instead raised their men elsewhere, and did not do such a stupid maneuver? Now, I'm actually going to leave my personal army unraised. And the red wines. The red wines could perhaps be left as well. Or we could bring them over as a defense force of my main castle. Yes, we'll start to march them over. As for me, I will not currently lead troops. Now, all of these mainland armies, all you 12,000, will amass at Cider Hall. You gentlemen will amass at my castle here. Now, we're going to go full speed ahead while we wait for everybody to get to their positions. I'll find him someone nice. Garsfly was my cousin. Sure, I'll find you somebody nice. You and your moustache. In fact, can we grant you a knighthood? Sir, gas, flowers, why not? We'll arrange you a marriage. Oh, we might have to outsource. There's Lady Oakhart. Would you take her? Yes, you would. Excellent. Hey, Phil, would it not be in your best interests? Bradwell Tarly instead, eh? Well, how about that? Um... Here's a Lady Frey. It's quite a respectable house. We'll, uh, we'll bring that over. Excellent. The daughter of the great Lord Walder. Very, very prestigious match indeed. Alright, the armies are all starting to arrive. Excellent. Now... We have eight and a half thousand men here from our two most loyal houses. We'll keep them in reserve. The rest of the houses, who are not so loyal, we'll send them off. We'll have our army led by Leo Ashford. And on the flanks, we can go for... No, the army should be led by Tyrell. Garrett Tyrell will lead the centre. We'll have Leo of Cockleswent on one flank and John Fossaway on the other. 
now? What should we do with this army? Night Song is here and it is very well defended. We could attempt to begin a siege. Or we could attempt to march towards High Guard and lay siege there. Yes, we could march this army straight towards Storm's End. And we could take this army, led by my greatest allies. We could take that. Ourselves. We could gain some prowess. We'll take our good relatives, Olimer, and our other friend, Fortimer. We'll march over and besiege Night Song. With our personal levy not so far behind, if we do require extra reinforcements, we can simply raise them and have them march over. That we will begin the siege here of Night Song. While the rest of our forces go deep into enemy, ter enemy territory. Now, Garrett here is leading the army, and he is a brave man who is authoritative. Authoritative. He is a brave man who is authoritative and deceitful. So, despite giving him orders to a besiege Storm's End, the brave man might have heard of the enemy army and bravely decided to go up there deceitfully against his lord. I believe I believe he has the traits to warrant such a movement. Perhaps he wants to destroy their army and gain favour with the king himself. Garrett Flowers, eh? Perhaps he does indeed. But he's going to take the army in there. Leo. Leo is also a brave man. He's well up for it. And John here, again, is brave. So the three brave lords are going into the enemy head first with inferior numbers to try and prove something to the king themselves against their Lord Paramount's wishes, who is just. just. Uh, proudly besieging a minor insignificant castle in, 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 the, uh, in the south, just to say he was part of the war. But this army here is led by Lord Paramount Robert, so it would take a very brave man to attack it. But we'll see how they get on. Right, uh, they've already taken a negative terrain by going straight over the river bravely and not using their wits to go around through Haystack Hall. But we'll see how they get on. They are being sent packing very early. That was a disgraceful showing and a man has died. Most of the army was destroyed. And Lord Fossaway has been killed in personal combat by Robert himself. So, Garrett, you made quite a large mistake there, getting your men absolutely slaughtered, didn't you? Who can be arrested? Lord Florence. Lord Florence can be arrested. Why? He's the leader of a plot. What is he plotting? Mother, tell me what he is plotting. See Lord Hyde Ship of the Golden Grove. Punished. Well, I don't particularly like him either, so we'll, uh, we'll ignore this for now. Oh, this army is sent packing. We're also... not yet, not yet. We'll say by now that word has reached Lord Paramount Mace of the treachery of his generals. He'll then have Garrett sacked from his position and he'll place Leo in command of the army alongside a new commander who is along with them, I'm sure. Leo Tyrell. He'll then command the army to join up with him in the south. Where he's also gotten word of an incoming Aryan force. Where he'll send for his extra generals with the home garrison. Not Garrett. Garrett is to be... Uh, Garrett, due to his treachery, will be suspended. And he'll be replaced in his position by Quentin. Quentin will then bring the army up from the south. 
to join the other forces here. Which will lead these fools into somewhat of a trap. They've already taken native terrain. Their commander, Denny's the Darling, put himself in quite a bad position. Little does he know that we ha have reinforcements coming from both flanks if he does stay any longer. I'm sure word has gotten to him by now, so he'll be fleeing the battlefield. Ah, Ryman Waxley has decided to get in my way. Luckily enough, my good lord here, Sir Alistair Norcross, is here to handle it. He did not handle it. Now, oh, this good sir has charged after me. He has a personal combat skill of 45. I have a personal combat skill of... Nothing. If not even manage to touch me, I will strike. It will all be over. But he will not die. Are you sure? Oh, this is a totally different fellow. There will be no match for my might. I forcefully overwhelm his defensive stance. And Raymond will be slain. Growing strong. I am indeed a great warrior, as I train to be over these past few months. My training has paid off. This waxly fool has been destroyed. We'll do nothing for now. The armies will come back together and we'll all reevaluate this siege's position. The armies will be merged. I will retire to my castle and will put my good kinsman Quentin in command. We'll keep low his position. I will have uh, Oliver on the other flank. He is not a brave individual. Neither is Quentin, so he shouldn't do such a stupid move next time. But they will, however, assault the castle as commanded by their lord before he left. Excellent. They will now march their forces up to Tumbleton and prepare to defend the capital as told by their commander. Now an extra space for a bodyguard is available. We will give it to Adam here. No, we'll give it to Eamon Costain. As our army marches north to prepare to defend the capital, 15,000 strong. It doesn't appear that our allies here are doing much. I accept people like you, Rolly. Sure, why not? I'll accept you, Rolly. And I'll give you a knighthood while you're here. Sir Rolly. Excellent. Now, scouts tell us of uh, stark forces towards the capital. We'll march towards Langward Hall to try and cut them off. Excellent, we'll cut off these Stark forces and then head back to defensive terrain. Excellent, they are being cut down like fools. All of them were massacred. Starks massacred, how about that? It appears the Siege of Night Song has been retaken. It was a complete waste of time, but we knew that. We knew that. Mace didn't know that. He's not a great military commander. He just thought it was a sense of pride to take a castle. I'm sure his uh, council members would not tell him that it was lost. Now, there is a Stark force marching east towards Parchment. We will uh, move over here where we might have the ability to ambush them. That's, however, will do for this episode. I hope you are enjoying it. It's a bit of a slower, roleplay-ish uh, sort of campaign. Let me know how you think it's getting on, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you want to support the channel even further, there is a Patreon link down below. There is also a Discord server, where we can have much, much fun. See you guys there. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.